It's a brand new week, and guess what? We have some tech news for you today, and it's a guy that owns a pre-built PC company. I have some problems that are happening. AMD is gonna start making pre-built PCs? What? They already are? No! Also, Nvidia is gonna be getting into the processor game. Should Intel be worried? Uh-oh, we got news on that. New 9800X 3D processors from AMD. We're gonna talk about that and more. Let's go, let's get into it. It's news time, baby, come on! Well, I didn't have NVIDIA entering the CPU market on my bingo card for 2025, but it looks like that's exactly what's happening. Earlier this year, NVIDIA debuted their new Blackwell AI chip, but this report on tech power up points to a possible consumer grade CPU. Let's look into it. According to DigiTimes, NVIDIA is reportedly targeting a high end segment for its first consumer CPU attempt. Slated to arrive in 2025, NVIDIA is partnering with MediaTek to break into the AI PC market. NVIDIA plans to join and leverage its massive ecosystem of partners to design and deliver regular applications and games for its ARM-based processor. NVIDIA is swimming in money, is what you need to know here. Yes. Graphics cards, we've been doing that forever. We're already the kings of it, we own the land. You know what we're not the kings of yet is CPUs. So now they're gonna take a little bit of AMD and Intel's pie, probably mostly Intel to be quite honest with you. Yeah, they make great graphics cards, they'll probably make great CPUs. NVIDIA is a well-run company, it's a tight ship. You can't run a company like that with a with a leather jacket like Jensen has and not produce the best of the best. AM Dizzle just dropped the new Ryzen 9000 X3D processors, which we'll get to in a second here, but they also seem to be entering the handheld gaming market again. We saw it with the ROG Ally and the MSI Claw and probably some other handheld PCs that nobody bought. The newest in this lineup is the One X Fly F1 Pro. Let's take a look. I love this headline. It makes me giggle. AMD powered OLED handheld aims to rival the Steam Deck OLED. Ryzen 9 AI HX370 runs Black Myth Wukong at 50 to 60 FPS with 1080p low settings. Fun. AMD's Ryzen AI 300 series CPUs finally make their way into a proper handheld gaming PC. I'll be the judge of that. Yep. Yeah. That goes in your hand. If you're my age, you're like, oh, remember back when the IMAX had a, a transparent backing. This reminds me of the early 2000s. You'll probably really enjoy this. For someone like Tanner, you're like, yo, yo, dude, this is so whack. I would never have a translucent thing, bro. This is so brat summer. I, I like the clear stuff. Yeah, no, you don't. You don't get to like them. Is, is this a cooking device? What the f is going on here? Where, where's the games? Guys, this is the worst trailer I've seen in my entire life. That's bad. Yeah, it doesn't look good. They make me hungry. I'll be totally honest with you after seeing that trailer. Um, this company's gonna go out of business. Guys, this next one is pretty big for the channel. If you've been watching, I know that you've been paying attention to the videos, but it turns out that AMD has been watching our channel. And I need your help in the comments. I need some Zach loves AMD in the comments because they're pissed, quite frankly. Um, they've gotten very upset and have decided to compete directly against us as a result of the hilarious videos that I've made here on the channel, right? Very funny stuff. Everyone loves it? So good. Everyone loves it. A China exclusive lineup of pre-built PCs. Check this out. Tom's Hardware. They're getting a Ryzen 7 9800X 3D upgrade. Well, interesting. I can't wait to see what some of these systems look like. Wait a second. How come some of them aren't including graphics cards? Look at this. AMD didn't make every part of its own in the build, except for the CPU. Instead, they took the approach of companies like Meta PCs. Wow, they put us in the article. They used the Seuss supplies like motherboards and graphics cards, a 360 mm AIO made by G-Skill. The case is from Longiter. The first two models have no graphics card in them. I mean, I get it. Maybe you want to add your own GPU or something. That makes sense. These are China exclusive, so they haven't, they haven't come for us yet, but I worry. Chat, should we be worried? Let us know below. They all come with 32 gigs of DDR5, 6,000, megahertz memory, and they mostly feature the same tough gaming B650M Plus motherboard. It's a, D, it's a good motherboard. Alongside a one terabyte SSD. Now that's just enough for Call of Duty. So we may want to do it too. So if you convert to American dollars, the price tag on the cheapest PC, which doesn't even have a GPU is about a thousand bucks. Oh, this is interesting. A, two of them feature NVIDIA GPUs. Do you think because consumers 
want an NVIDIA GPU? Don't get mad at me in the comments. I'm done looking at these uh, sub-tier AMD China pre-builds. I'd much rather look at MetaPCs. Don't skip this ad. Go to MetaPCs.com where we sell pre-builds way better than the ones that you'll see in this AMD China exclusive. In fact, it is November, which means our Black November sale is on right now. If you've been waiting to get a new PC, wait no longer. My friends, go to MetaPCs.com, check out the Black November sale. It's live now. Best time to get a new PC. See, what do you have, Zach? Anything I might be interested in? Yes, have you seen the storm? Look at the storm. What do you think? What about this crazy looking case? Holy moly. Holy moly. Go to metapcs.com. You do the ready to ship, you do the custom build. Maybe you go through the custom build, you pick a couple parts. What color do you like, Tanner? White. White. I'll do that for you. Maybe you want a white case. We've got those too. Go to metapcs.com, check out the Black November sale. Love you so much, get yourself a new PC, okay? Or maybe tell a family member to go get one. Maybe tell everyone you know. We're trying to run a business here. Please. Speaking of the 9800X 3D, that just launched yesterday, and I mean, it's a processor. In all seriousness, I think that this new X3D processor is good, but if you already have a 7800X3D or something similar, I would wait for the upgrade. The 9800X3D will be a great option for people looking to make a big upgrade, especially if AMD phases out the 7800X3D. We've had the CPU for a couple of weeks now, been testing it, and it performs well, but the performance improvements for gaming are fairly minor ones, and we know that's what most of you are looking for. So if you're looking for better workstation performance, then this 9800X3D will show some significant improvements in Blender and video editing. I don't think it'll be the best gaming CPU until AMD just completely phases out the 7800X3D purely for pricing reasons. If you've got a processor from, let's say like five years ago, then this is actually, yes, it's a great upgrade. But if you've already got the 7800X3D and you're like, hey, does this make sense? For the most part, not really. All right, it wouldn't be a news video without checking in on the world of video games. You guys love these segments. Let's see what type of bullshit they've been up to. Don't you dare click off this video. And let's kick it off with a bang. Some news that is surprise to no one. The Concord developers have been shut down. Oh, sad face. Firewalk Studios released the game Concord earlier this year to the worst reception they could possibly get and practically no sales shortly after they pulled the game from shelves and shut down online servers. Sony, the publisher of the freaking game, reportedly spent $400 million on this game. It's obviously sad to see a studio get killed after one single game, but I hope that Sony learns. People are tired of live service shooters. Please stop, please Sony. We have enough Overwatch clones. After evaluating our games portfolio and status of our projects to ensure we're meeting near and long-term business priorities, it was making the difficult decision to close Neon Koi and Firewalk Studios. It's unclear how many people will be affected by the closures, but Firewalk says it employs 500 to 200 people and Neon Koi 11 to 50. Bad news. Yeah, they're like, this is unsalvageable. Like people just, they hated the game so much. They're like, we better just close up shop. And everyone looked at each other and went, yeah, I've never made a game. But if you gave me $400 million, million what would you put in your game? You'd make a Halo game? I'd make a Halo game with big boobs. With big boobs. <laughs> a Halo game with big boobs. And you know what? It wouldn't be a gaming segment unless we talked about my favorite company in the world, Ubisoft. Yay! Yeah. Yay! Ubisoft has been in the dumps lately after delaying Assassin's Creed Shadows and the recent news that they may be acquired by Tencent. Today's news centers more around Assassin's Creed. Let's take a moment and take a look at this article on PC Gamer. Join me, will you? Ubisoft boss says it knows players think it has an inconsistency in quality, so it delayed Assassin's Creed Shadows to flip the script. Ubisoft's portfolio has faced criticism in recent years for a perceived inconsistency in quality, and that's why Assassin's Creed Shadows got pushed to February. It is nice that your response is to push the game back until next year so that it sucks less. That's appreciated, but let's get it real. It's not perceived. Inconsistency in quality, you've been making shit. Gamers are the most vocal. And it's like this guy just figured out. He's like, you know what we should do? Now this is crazy. We're gonna be the first studio to listen 
to what uh, gamers want. Do you think it'll be good? Whatever. No! <laughs> I don't want to be the pessimist. I think and hope that it's going to be good. It's all I can do is hope and pray. Can we get some prayers in the chat? My, my, would you look at the time. We've done and said everything that we could say except for one very, very important thing. Guys, today's Tanner's birthday. Can we wish Tanner a happy birthday in the comments? Yeah! My birthday's in May. Your birthday's in May? Well guys, let's get some engagement going on. Sorry, I have we're being raided right now. Guys, end of the video. Uh, like and subscribe. If we get 150,000 views on this, I won't go to prison. What? They found the deep cool shipments. I gotta go. See you next time, hopefully.